Hey guys, in this video, let us learn to deploy a Spring Boot application in Docker. Before jumping into the application, let us see the steps involved in this process. First, create your Spring Boot application, that is your Spring REST API. Next, package your application as a jar file. The third step is create the Docker file in the project root directory. This Docker file is going to have the details about your application. Once this is done, build the Docker image using the command docker build. This means the image for your application is created inside the Docker container. That is, your application is deployed. Now to run the application, you need to create the container. When you create the container and if the container is up and running, it means your application is running. Now let us jump into the application and do the process to deploy our application. I have already created the Spring Boot application with the name Spring Basic Rest Docker. The only dependency that I am having for this application is Spring Boot Starter Web. I have created the controller with the name Greet Controller with one single rest endpoint. This is returning a response entity of type string. Together with this, I have changed the port number for this particular application to run in port 8081. You can do it using application.properties or using application.yml. Now the next step is we need to create the jar file. That is we need to package our application. Select your project, right click, run as maven build. Select the second maven build, give the goal as package and skip the test. Since we are not having any test cases, you can just select skip test. Click apply and run. Let me maximize the console. Build success. Now the jar file is created inside target folder. Now let me refresh the target folder. I will open it. This is the jar file. This is way too big. Let me rename it. Function F2. Let me give the file name as spring jar. Now that is ready, next step is we need to create the docker file in the project root directory. So select your project, right click, new, file. The file name is docker file, D capital F lowercase with no extension. Click finish. This docker file is going to have a set of instructions that is needed by this application. There are few commands that has to be added to this docker file. The first command is from. You need to set the base image that this application is dependent on. In our case, our application is dependent on Java 17. So you have to go and select the Java 17 image and add it over here. I already know the image, but I will show you how to pick it up from Docker Hub. So go to the browser, search for open JDK Java 17 Docker image. Select the second one. The repository name is openjdk. The tag is 17 hyphen alpine. So let me copy this and I will add it over here. The next command that I am going to use is expose. In which port number you are going to expose your application? In my case, I have given the port number as 8081. The next command is copy. This command is to copy the jar file from the source path to the destination path. In my case, the source is inside target that is the jar file is inside target folder spring hyphen rest dot jar and the destination is let me give a different name spring hyphen basic dot jar that is i am copying this spring hyphen rest dot jar file to the projects root directory and the file name is spring hyphen basic dot jar you can give the same file name or you can give a different file name also when you want to run the Spring Boot application, you can run the jar file. The command to run the jar file is java-jar, the jar file name. So that is the command that we will be giving in the entry point. The command is java-jar, this is a, like an array, the file name, spring-basic.jar. These details are enough to build a Docker image for this particular application. Now let us build the docker image using the command docker build. We need to open the command prompt from the project's root directory. 
So select form.xml, right click, properties, select the location. That is I want to go into the root directory of my project. And let me just type cmd. I am in the project root directory. So from here we are going to create the docker image for our application. I have already installed docker in my system and also I am having the docker desktop which is kind of a UI from where you can see the images that are created, the containers that are up and running. But now from the terminal, let us see what are all the Docker images that are available. I don't have any images. Doc, the command is Docker images. There are no images. Let me open my Docker desktop. Here you can see there are no images as of now. Now let us build the image. The command is docker build hyphen t. Give a tag name for your image. Spring rest colon v1. v1 is the tag name. Spring rest is kind of the image name. It's also actually a repository in terms of public repositories. To build an image, we need the docker file. The docker file is in the root directory. So I can directly give dot. Now the image is built. Let me use the same command docker images to see the image. Here you can see the image is ready now. Let me open the docker desktop. Now my image is available. The next step is to run the application we need to create the docker container. Let me use the command docker run. You can use either docker container run or simply docker run. So in this case, let me use docker run. Let me give a name for the container. Double hyphen name. Basic rest. Then hyphen p. What is the port number that you want to expose? Within the docker container, it will be running in port 8081. But external to the docker container, if I want to access the application, I want to run this in 8082. So for external it is 8082, for internal it is 8081. And then give the image name. The image name is spring rest colon v1. If you want you can give the image name or you can give the image id. Because I know the image name, I have given the image name. My spelling is wrong. Spring rest colon v1. When you run this command, Automatically the docker container will be created and your application will run in this terminal itself. I want to run this particular application in a detached mode. So I can use another flag as hyphen D. I can put this together hyphen DP. So the exposed port is 8082. That is when you want to access this application which is running inside docker container, you need to use the port number 8082. From within the container, if you want to access this application, you need to use the port number 8081. Okay, let me press enter. Let us see the list of containers that are up and running. Docker container ps. This is the command. So the container ID is this. The image is spring rest colon v1. The command to run the application is java hyphen jar spring hyphen basic dot jar. Okay. Now, how to see the logs of my application? Docker space log space. Either you can give the container name or you can give the container ID. The container name is basic rest. So, I can just give it. Now, here you can see the application is up and running in port number 8081. Let me open Docker desktop. So, let me click on containers in the container. The container name is basic rest. If you don't give a container name, it will automatically give a name for your container. And I can open the browser from here also. This localhost 8082 because we are running this application from outside the Docker container. 8082 slash greet slash Priya. Great day Priya. Now I have got the open. If you want to see the logs for this particular application, you can do that also. You can click on the container. 
it will show you the same logs that we have seen from the terminal. And to stop the application, simply use the command docker stop the container ID or the container name. The container name is basic rest. Okay. Now the container is stopped. You can see the container is stopped over here. So this is how you deploy a Spring Boot application in Docker. That's all. Thank you.